Hello, and welcome to Stranded Deep with Drew Adley. And what is this? What is going on here? This is not the state we left Drew in. What happened? Here's the truth, guys. I don't know. Uh, I saved it. Uh, and yet, uh, there's not... I can't go and load other saves, and it would appear that we are back on Everest before things got too higher. So I guess this gives us an opportunity not to remake some of the mistakes that I think I was making, and I can talk those out. But I do feel a little cheated here. I'm not going to lie. I was very prepped for a really tense moment and, uh, you know, kind of a dramatic story, and instead we get a bit of a time travel, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I certainly could roll with it, uh, and I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I will, I don't know, save twice. I, I'm not, I'm not really sure how to prevent this from happening again, but we're going to, we're going to try to work with it. We're going to take this as maybe a, a, a bit of divine intervention, uh, on Drew's behalf. If this happens a second time, then I probably will take a more extreme, uh, uh, reaction, uh, maybe as, 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 as an extreme as a reaction is possibly moving to something more stable. Um, but for now... Let's take this little gift that has been given to us. So we're back on day nine. Okay. And so the island that we traveled to at the end of the last episode, the one we were going to call Broad Peak, we now have never been there. I was, I did have a whole other intro to this video, a big build up about, okay, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. And we're going to do this. And every second counts. And then I get into the game and it's this. And he's back on Everest and everything is not fine, but, you know, not as bad as it was. And, uh, gee, <laughs> like I said, a little bit of the wind out of the sails here. But you know what? Let's let's roll with it. So I was talking about what I thought was perhaps some of the mistakes I had made in, in this run through with Drew. And one of them is these island trips. I think they might use a lot of food and a lot of energy. And I'm concerned that perhaps I am sending him, you know, back and forth between these islands and using up more energy than he has the ability to sustain right now. It's also possible that um, some of these, uh, whoops, I want to get this uh, fiber sleeves. Some of these uh, better vehicles that I can craft. If we go here, here, vehicles. It's possible that some of these don't use as much um uh, energy. They don't use a, a, uh, um, food and water. So it's possible. Now, okay, I was going to say, if you tell me that knife is gone again. So this kind of changes what I was going to do. I think that since we've been given this gift, I think we need to focus more on continuing to build up Everest here and making it a more sustainable location. So right now, seeing as how it's uh, almost 1700, his food's pretty good. His water is never great, but it's okay. Um, if we send him to sleep now, he will. Now I gotta remember, as soon as the sun sets, it gets very dark very quickly. So really we've already hit, hit the end of our product predict, excuse me, I can't talk today. Had a weird day today. Um, the end of our productive day. Excuse me, a little water. So, I mean, we're probably going to bed. I think uh, the, the, the light itself is dictating that. Now check out this moon, though. Look at the moon rise. Now we've watched sunrise and sunset, but the moon rise, that's pretty cool. It looks like the moon is in front of those clouds. <laughs> that's a bit weird. Any water? Yes. Let's send Drew to bed with, some, with, a, with a drink, a drink of water. Uh, just the one, apparently. Okay. I'm wondering how we... Um, now, the one thing we could do in this bright moonlight is maybe look for another bat? How's his uh, stuff here? All right. I want to remember that he has about a bar and a half of health. And I think his... My theory is that his health only starts going down 
when you hear the, the watch beep, when his hunger or his food, I believe, hits that last box, then you start ticking away at his health. So I think if we can keep him above that last box, then he will continue to get healthier and gain some of his health back, which would be very important because that poison, boy, that took a lot out of him. So I think I'm going to try climbing this palm tree. Whoops. I said climbing the palm tree. And no, no coconuts. The slow regrowth of coconuts is definitely a problem as well. Wow, that is just beautiful. I had said that I wouldn't tell any sea stories in this episode because I thought this episode was going to be a life and death march. But um, maybe I will have time for sea stories. It seems like these lanterns just come on on their own. And it also seems like, uh, did I pick it up? I don't want to pick it up. Good grief, man. Can't afford to use up inventory space. Just want to turn it off. Turn it off. There we go. Um, oh, the problems I had with the fire last time, too. Okay, we're just going to send him to bed. So we're going to say save. New notification. Game saved. If you say so, game. We'll see. All right, let's hit the rack. Easiest watch to sleep off was mid-watch. Um, it seems like uh, we're hitting now. There's the beep. Okay, so we're inside that first thing first uh, for thirst. Let's go check the, um, the moon hasn't fully set yet. Let's check our water storage. I will... Uh, don't worry, I'll get back to that sea story at some point. I promise. This entire video series is just an excuse for me to make sea stories. All right, no and no. So that just sucks. So now we got to eyeball coconut. So as dramatic as the uh, missed last ending was, it's not undramatic. You know, despite this uh, serene music here, we are just barely sustaining. And I really don't want to sustain. I want to uh, grow. I, w I, want, I want Drew to get farther along. I think this might mean this three quarters of a circle. It's in the water uh, thing, but I think this might mean that it's three quarters of the way done. We'll find out. I'm going to try to keep him out of the sun. There we go. Let's quickly do our coconuts. And then we'll decide what we're going to try to get done here today. Okay, stop rolling. God damn it. <laughs> get back here. There we go. The other one was nice enough not to roll away. Rolling coconuts. I went back and retitled all the episodes. So at some point during this episode, I'll have to figure out what to call it. Probably I will refer to the fact that our, our disaster was unexpectedly averted. Okay, uh, there we go. So thirst is now at three. Food is at two. I want to try not to go too bad with the, the UV here. I wonder if we could get a fish. I think maybe that's today. Today is about getting fish. That is something we haven't done. Uh, I got a stick right here, and I believe all you need to craft a spear is a stick. Crude spear. Fishing rod seems like a bit much. Fishing spear, though. We got it. Let's try it. There's plenty of fish in the water. Okay, we got a little SPF time. I suppose this won't work if he's swimming, though. Maybe it will. And where, where'd all the fish go? Hey, I'm sure I hit that guy. Come on, I knifed a fish the other day. Got him. Ooh, and my hunting skill went up. Okay. 
All right. I mean, I don't think one sardine is going to be a whole lot now. Can Drew, like, do sushi, or does he have to uh, cook it? Let's find out. Is that pee, pee Nope. Guava luava. I'll just call those wololos. I can't be the only one who remembers Age of Empires. And wololo. All right. Is there no shade on this island? Maybe we can make something that has shade. All right. So, how do we get the, 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 um, there we go. Can I hold the fish? Can I eat the fish? Nope. All right. So we can't eat the fish. So let's see, though, if we can catch a second fish and try to cook them both at the same time. That's right. I think I was going to try to make a fish trap. All right, how about this clownfish here, it looks like. Sorry, uh, Nemo. Was Nemo a clownfish? I think so. All right, well, they're hard. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I just grabbed that one. Hey, crab, does this work on you? I'm just going to get my knife. I was about to drown. Oh, gross. <laughs> Every time. It's literally the only voice line they had that guy record. Oh, gross. All right, that was a good day's work. Okay, now. Are you going to let me start this fire? You're going to say the campsite is out of fuel. Okay. So the last time I then had to build the campsite. I think I... Give me this stick. Okay. And then how many sticks do I need for a campsite? Campsite is four. I think there's a small tree over here. Yeah. All right, let's get this. Hey, look at how that stick just landed per perfectly straight up. Pretty awesome. Sticks, 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 sticks. We love sticks. Stick. I love how that landed straight up. Not enough room in inventory. Fine. Whatever. I'm trying, guys. I'm not, not you guys, the, uh, the, uh, the watch. Campfire. Craft. Put it in there. Place. Okay. Now, get the kindling. Light. This happened last time, too. It took me a long time to get the fire started. It used to be easy. All right, hang on. There we go. All right, drop that. Get a fish. Um, fish. Not working. Get the meat. Attach that. Why can't we put the fish on here? All right, so I guess you can't cook fish on the spit. Great. That was a big waste of time. All right, let's get another crab. I feel like we're gonna end up back in this tension-filled spot anyway. Just a little bit of a delay. <laughs> but all of this is, you know, it's about figuring it out. And I do think that um, those repeated island trips were too much. I think that's definitely something I'm going to do differently. I think I need to keep us here on Everest. Now, why the hell isn't this... 
Oh, gross. Blech. See? I can be a stranded deep voice actor. Oh, gross. All right, so this should be able to go on the spit. I will say, when we went to Lotsi, they had the, um, uh, the giant crab there, and that was great. So we were thinking about making a fish trap, and even though I couldn't figure out how to cook the fish, I wonder if the hobo stove, nope, that needs a barrel. We've seen nothing like that. Meat smoker, maybe. Loom, no. Plank station, no. Furnace, I don't think so. I kind of bet furnace doesn't have anything to do with cooking. Cook small meat. Give me that. Eat it. Okay. Check your watch. We're almost ready. <laughs> almost ready to be thirsty again. It needs to rain every day. Come on. All right, our cooking went up. I wonder if this that, that helps us in some way. But anyway, uh, fishing, fishing trap was down here, I think. Fine spirit, uh, crude bow. Dun, 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 dun. There are so many crafting things that, uh, let's see. No, no, here we go. Bird snare, two sticks, three lashing and a rock. I think we might be able to do that one. Uh, lately it's been the rock that's been hard to find. We certainly have the sticks, so we're going to have to grab another coconut anyway, as soon as this, uh, meat gets done. There we go. There's our ding. Pick that up. Uh, there we go. I forgot how to play the game for a second. Okay, let's do this. Bird snare. Okay, we need... A rock, three lashings, two sticks. Okay, and according to this, we have no, none of them. Okay, but here's some yucca. Do not even... Okay, I was going to say, if the, if the knife... If the knife gives out during this, I'm really going to lose it. Yucca fruit? Wait, what, where? Where's the yucca fruit? Am I crazy or did I see that? Pick up... Pick up another yucca fruit. Pick up yucca fruit. Wow, wait a minute, what? There's fruit on these things? Can you eat it? Can be can you be used to grow yucca in a farming plot? And you can't okay, and you can't freaking fine. Let's put this next to the farming. Drop it over here. I got excited. Thought I could eat it. Okay. Just grab these fiber sleeves. Fiber sleeves, fiber sleeves, fiber sleeves, fiber sleeves, and fiber sleeves. Okay. We got 10 of those, I think, so we should be able to, whoops. Let's make a couple lashings here. Craft. Craft. We need one more. And craft. We've got the three lashings. That's the hardest part. We need one more stick. Wait. What are you beeping about? Water? Yes, I know. Okay, we'll get a coconut. And a rock. Two things we're looking for. One is up and one is down. So <laughs> hard to look for them both at the same time. And I don't know why new rocks would show up. You would think, you know... There wouldn't be any more. And there might not be any more. I understand why new coconuts would grow. Although this island is littered with an astonishing amount of coconuts. I do see a coconut. I think. The problem is these coconuts, they just don't buy you much time. Hold A. Not press A. There it is. Give me that. Okay. Let's head back down. 
We need daily rainstorms. Big time. Every night, while he sleeps. I'm putting the request in now. Alright. Well, we got the one. We can do this just to at least stop the... Um, don't roll away. Stop the beeping. Pick it up. No. Okay. Back to looking for a rock. Why are you beeping now? Uh, you're beeping because of the, uh, the sun. Well, I can't look for rocks if I can't go in the sun. And then there's so many areas that shouldn't be high in UV. Like, look at this. I'm completely in the shadow. And I get that you would still get ultraviolet light in the shadow. I understand that. But, you know, they give me some kind of clue as to where I would be able to stand. I'm getting kind of salty on the, some of this stuff here. I know this works. I know if I stand next to the um, uh, hut here, the lean-to, then uh, his SPF will go up. We'll let it get up to about a third, I guess. Uh, let's see. So we need one more stick and we need a rock. And uh, I guess we should be watching for where we think birds are. And I wonder if you have to bait it with, like, maybe some crab meat. I mean, that would make sense. So, when, obviously, since we started this, I compare this game a lot to The Long Dark, which is another survival game that I, I play quite a bit more. And I would say that this game is both easier and harder than The Long Dark. Um, this game throws a lot less challenges at you. I feel like you're really just right now at least balancing hunger, thirst, and, and cold. Um, which is, you know, kind of what you, uh, hunger, thirst, and, and temperature, which is kind of what you balance in the long dark as well. Uh, but the long dark gives you a lot more understanding of what's going to help you and what isn't. And that may just be because I'm more familiar with it. I've played it more. I may get that level of understanding here. I think I'm going to, I'm going to make a concerted effort to not, uh, gripe as much and, uh, just take what Stranded Deep gives me. I see that poison thing there. See, now, I didn't know that what that was before. In my next playthrough, I will know to avoid it like I just did. Is that a rock? I think I have checked this particular thing for its rockness before. Yes. I feel like I'm going to, you know, when this particular playthrough ends, whenever it ends... Uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to be able to look at a bunch of mistakes that I made and opportunities to uh, do things better than uh, I did. Uh, I think I probably crafted some things that I didn't need to. And I need to understand what resources replenish and how quickly. Um, rocks, for example. So I'm going to remember this area around my raft here has some seagulls hanging around in it so that uh, if we get our our um, a bird trap created we can put it there now there's a starfish but it's not it's not real I really need a rock could there be rocks under the water I mean, there are in real life. Because I think I've exhausted the island's rock supply. I'm not sure, though, that... Uh, he, oh, he can look at his... Um, he's almost out of water again. Nope. All right. So I don't think we're going to find rocks under the water. So it was a search for a rock that ultimately sent me to the other island in the last game. Or the last, the, the, ver the portion of the last episode that now didn't happen. And 
Nothing. Nothing. Right now I'm feeling like the only way I'm going to get a rock is to leave the island to get one. And yet... I mean, I wonder if you could break down a bigger rock. I haven't seen... On this island, I haven't seen a big rock that I could break down. But wait, what is... I remember there was something like this on one of the other islands. And it had like a, it, it had a name that would pop up. You could do something to it. I wonder if you could break it into rocks. But I don't see that option here. Oh, I really should have put this fire out. I'm not using it. All right, water. Okay. Well, I think we are um, kind of back where we where we started at the beginning of this episode. There's a lot of uh, a bit of a treading water uh, problem happening here, where we are managing to do just enough to stay alive. Um, that's assuming I can find a coconut. It's also possible that I have, there's one, um, hitched my wagon to the wrong island. It's possible that this island is, is specifically designed to not be able to sustain you for a long period of time, to force you to leave and go to the other islands, and that I shouldn't be using this as a home base, that I should be more encouraging maybe a nomad-ish existence but I'm not sure that that tracks because so much of the game is built around crafting. So I realize this particular episode has had probably my least uh, story, <laughs> like Everest book story stuff and sea story stuff. And I'm just at this point, I, I, I want to move things forward. And um, I feel like that is not happening. So we're going through another day here. Turn this off. No, not pick it up. Turn it off. Which is hold X. Now his, he's still beeping because he needs something. All right, well, I think we're gonna send him to bed again here. Maybe there'll be a rock storm in the middle of the night. We'll save again. It says the game saved. We'll sleep. Yes, you need to find water. It's completely out. Okay, what time? It's almost 0600. So we're going to check the um, water. Water things. And you know, I gotta say, um, I understand. There's no reason to expect that like dew and condensation would, would be enough to fill these up. Um, these, uh, water collection stations, uh, required a lot of resources to build and, uh, have not really returned, uh, as much, uh, back. They are usually empty and I don't think they are earning their keep. It, I wonder if I can return them to their components and will that give us, I don't care about that, I care about that, the rock. So now if I get the one stick, wait, there was probably a stick in that. Uh, well, there's a lashing, I'll take that. I guess not, I'll leave that stuff there. Sticks aren't hard to come by. That's our one almost unlimited resource is the stick. And I do need to get his, He's is he completely out? He is. Okay, so first, as always, we search for a coconut. Look at the coconuts. Look at the look at all the coconuts all over the island. Okay, got anything? That one up there? No, just like a knot on the tree. Anything?
And, you know, I could certainly uh, imagine this uh, scenario. You wouldn't be thinking ahead. You would be just trying to uh, address your needs of the day. I could see easily even a, a smart guy like Drew, who's much smarter than I am, uh, getting into this, this situation. You know, sometimes you survive on dumb luck, and, and sometimes dumb luck can kill you, too. And the right rainstorm or the wrong rainstorm right now really makes makes the difference. I see one. I might even be able to grab it without climbing up. Yep. All right. It's not going to be much, Drew. Let's drop it. But it might be enough to get this uh, get this bird trap set up. We, at least we could say we accomplished that. Pick it up. Take a drink. Drop it. Not even really a full bar. And he's hungry. Well, I'm getting this... Uh, I'm getting this bird trap made. This is happening. This is literally, I'm going to make this bird trap even if it kills him. Because it might. Okay, we had a spot for this thing. If we have to bait it with crab meat, we can get a couple crabs, or we can try to, and then um, bait it with one of the crab meats and cook the rest. And of course, by then, he'll need another water. Be nice if we could get a freaking rainstorm. All right, so this is around where we saw those birds. So I'm going to try putting it here. Bird snare. Okay, place. Do I have to do anything? Do I have to... Doesn't look like it. Alright. There goes nothing. Time to find some crabs. And, uh... Here's one. Crab, I don't have a lot of health, so don't uh, don't attack me. Alright, so what I want to do is get the fire going, get this one cooking, then go get another one. Alright, let's pick up the kindling. Switch to the kin. Nope, that's a lashing. Come on. Come on, little fire. Damn it. What happened? Here we go. If you hear all that sound, it's making me do the two uh, controller trickers. Okay, crab meat. Attach. Okay, go get another crab. You know it's coming. Yeah, this is where we were at the, at the end of the last episode. So I just took a longer time to get there. All right. I'm going to get this other one going and then start the coconut hunt. And, you know, at some point, this is just not going to work. We just, we won't have another coconut. Hopefully that won't be this time. I hear a lot of gulls. Be nice if one of you guys would uh, go into my snare that apparently I didn't have to bait. All right, let's uh, keep looking. If the um, if the food can ding when it cooks, I wish the coconuts would like ding when they grow, so you would just know that there was one a new one available. Now, even when we finish this series. 
I'm still not going to go on any websites. I'm not going to watch any Let's Plays. Uh, I am going to re-watch my own series, probably. But uh, that's it. I don't, I don't want someone else to solve these problems for, for us. I, I want us to figure them out. All right, let's see. Cooked meat, pick it up. He's eating it. He already, he's already holding it, so just eat it. Oh, but now it's starting to look a little overcast. If it rains, this would be the luckiest rainstorm ever. It would be the second time a rainstorm has saved us. Is that a palm tree? Uh, that's a palm tree, but there's no coconut. Cooked meat. Get the cursor on there. There we go. Eat it. Food-wise, he's okay. We're almost into his final bar. And I believe that's continuing to drop as we hunt for coconuts. Now, if I see a crab while we're out here... Oh, I wish I could grab that bird. Um, if I see a crab... I'm going to get him. Honestly, I don't know what else to do on the water thing. Uh, I don't think he could survive a trip to another island. And if we could get up to a sustain... Well, that was the fastest, best crab kill I've ever done. If we could get him up to a sustained water food situation, like a nice good rainstorm, it might... We might want to go to another island with like hardly any inventory space and just load up on coconuts. Um, it's a thought. I'll attach that. Because I really don't think there's anything here. I think. I think we are. It's funny, I titled the last situation that it was dire. I titled the last episode, Dire. And uh, I'm continuing to feel that way. So much of this episode now is just walking around, looking up at trees. And unless my commentary is particularly scintillating, uh, which, you know, hey, I'm sure it could be, um... That can't be that interesting. I thought we were going to get a storm. I thought that these clouds were going to open up. I don't see it. I may have to risk running over to that island to try to get water. Uh, when this fire spit finishes. And, and that might wipe him out right there. But uh, I'm not really sure what else to do. Let's wait for this. Come on. <laughs> and I think this island over here... Is it done? Yep, cooked meat. I think this is the closest island. So tell you what, we're just going to go for it. Um, we're going to repeat I th of the previous episode. Maybe decide that Drew went a little loco. Um, where's the paddle? <laughs> These islands sometimes look so close that it looks like, you know, you could just swim over to them. And uh, you can. Uh, I have done it. My one early playthrough of this game, just to make sure I understood the controls and everything... Uh, I did. There's the panel. It's a thousand miles away from the freaking 
raft, uh, I swam to another island. What I don't know, like I've said before, is how much energy that uses. I doubt he has enough energy to even paddle to another island. But there's no water here. There's nothing left to do. We have to leave, and we have to leave now. Uh, if he doesn't find water, he's dead. So we are going. What time is it? 1300. UV is high. His SPF could become a problem on the way there. We'll deal with it, or we won't. He'll make it, or he won't. We're gonna we're gonna embrace the desperation that I think he would be feeling, and that I am feeling. I don't want this to end. I don't want to go out like this. Come on, get that raft in the water. And our episode, the rest of this episode is: Does he make it? Okay, let's. Where's our island target? There it is. Let's operate. I'm noticing the game is giving me music it has never given me before. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. You're dying. All right, so we're either going to make it or we're not. There was a sea story I was going to tell at some point, and now I can't remember. I don't think I can look at his uh, watch now. So, I think my sea story was about watches and which ones are easy to sleep in. Most of the time I was on the ship, we were on three-hour watches. Uh, or, excuse me, three, three shifts, eight-hour watches each. So there's a morning watch, eight, eight to four. There's a four to midnight. And there's a midnight to eight. The easiest to sleep was after that midwatch. Um, despite the fact that you would be sleeping in a loud birthing and everyone would be up and awake and making tons of noise off and beyond. You were just so tired. It was really easy to sleep. I'll tell more sea stories next time. I need to cool down. Oh, Drew, it's been a good run. If we didn't make it, it's all on me. I'm noticing he's not really even, I think, rowing as fast as he was before. Um, we'll see. As we keep slowly pushing forward. We have the one thing we need, which is a knife. If we can get to the shore, get him in the shade, and get... A coconut for drinking. We can just barely get off the mat here. This is really, this, my heart is like pumping here. He's almost there. Are we going to get this done or not? Come on, Drew. Ugh, you can do it. Each one seems like it's harder and harder for him to make it. I'm not even going to just get him out of the boat. Get out of the boat. Get out of the boat. I'm not going to look. I'm not looking. It doesn't matter what the watch says. I'm dropping this paddle right here. I can see a coconut. I'm booking for the coconut. Get the coconut. Go down. Okay, put the coconut on the ground. Get your knife out. His knife broke. Guys, his knife broke. He, he only needed to hit it one more time. Now we have to find a rock. Amazing. How much of the, our time has spent either looking for coconuts or rocks? We may have been here already. I think this is Lotsi. Uh, and uh, there's a rock. Okay. Give me the rock. 
craft the stone tool. Put, grab it. I think maybe we can craft a knife already. No, nope, we'd need a stick. Don't even bother. Get this coconut. Don't even bother finding the old coconut. Just get this one. Get that one. Get down on the ground. Stand over here just in case. This helps with the UV. It probably doesn't. Oh my god, I looked. I didn't want to look. Okay. Hit him. Takes four hits. Drink. Drop. Knife. Second coconut. One. Two. Three. Four. Pick it up. Drink. Drop. Check your watch. UV is high. Health is on half of the last bar. But we are in a location. Now, come on. Look how shadowed this is. I'm going to have to walk around. Okay, none. None. I saw it. Okay. I cannot believe it, folks. We are a bit okay. We're slightly okay. Can he hit this tree from here? Because I want to I wanna make the better knife. I think that's that kind of rock I was talking about, too. All right, hang on. Are we still? No, nope, now we're in high. Give me none. None. Give me none. Okay. Right now, his, his, his health looks like it's still dropping, even though he doesn't have any other problems. I don't know what that means. But... Stone deposit. Yeah, so could this be a source of rocks? I don't know. But I'm about to I'm about to eat or drink so many coconuts. You would go coconuts if you knew how many coconuts I was gonna drink. Let's see, right here. Drop it. Get the knife. Hit it. Hit it. Drink. Nope. This. Drink, drop. Okay. Now it's his health. Excuse me, hunger. I want to find something before the sun goes down. I don't even think we have a lean-to here. Nope. Oh, crab, come here. You would think, at by this point, he was used to it. Do we have enough sticks to make the... Just a campfire? No. Need two more. Show me a tree. Right here. We're going to get this campfire going. And we're going to call that an episode. And, you know, I didn't think we'd get, get a part eight. To be honest with you. Uh, and there may not be a part nine. Oh, God, we still got to do kindling, too. Um, we left the uh, ladder behind. Kindling. Two more. All right, fine. There's probably two more on the ground, but I can't see them. Stick. Gotta be another stick around here somewhere. Stick. Craft. Kindling. Uh, hold the kindling. I just got an achievement. I wondered what it was, so that's why I got quiet for a minute. This is, I think, the longest episode of this series. Get the meat. Attach. We're still beeping. His health is now still going down uh, for no reason that I can tell. 
Maybe he's exhausted. Maybe he needs to sleep. We're going to have to address that in the next part. I'm going to leave us with this campfire going here. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I'm not going to leave us with this campfire going. Do you know why? Because you can't save without a shelter. We're going to have to make one if we want to continue. Shelter requires lashing, four palm trees, three sticks. Fortunately, I can see a bit better now. So that's a stick. Give me the knife back. Chop this tree down. Two sticks. Three sticks. All right, and we need the palm frond. I believe we have to take the entire palm tree down to get it. So, a special, extra long, Drew Adley and Stranded Deep episode with all kinds of drama. And the drama continues. But I'm wondering if we can get him out of this situation, what this new island might offer. I'm not sure if this is Lotsi or not. Um, palm frond, I think that's all we needed was one. Let's double check. Shelter requires no four palm fronds, dummy. Not one, two, three, four. Go back and get your food. Poor Drew. Nothing but uh, beeping going on, too. Pick it up. Eat it. What else do we need? Lashing. Can we make it? No. Do we have yucca? The, the watch is beeping almost constantly now. And to be honest, I, I really, I don't know why. I thought I understood what made the watch beep. But now that the, the my, our, his health seems to be dropping regardless of uh, what he's doing. Uh, I don't know what the issue is there. And I know I said I wasn't going to look anything up. I think if I could find a way to understand the watch only, I may see if I can just acquire just that information. Let's see. Okay, lashing. We got it. Shelter. We have made it. Right by the campfire. Let's put it up on this little hill here. Place. We're going to save. Game saved, according to Stranded Deep. And we're going to go to sleep. Actually, I'm going to take the save. Yeah, so, well, this has been an interesting episode. Uh, I appreciate uh, everybody's time. And, you know, hey, uh, we'll see. We're, we're dancing on the edge here. Uh, but we're still we're still alive. Drew's still with us. Maybe this uh, either new or current location. I really I'm not sure if this is Lotsi or not, um, because I wasn't paying attention to the direction we went. But wherever we are, we're going to explore it. We're going to load up with a lot of coconuts if we head back. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you next time.